Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Kitaholic Kits design team and this month's kits, August kits, features the Pink Fresh Studio, just a little lovely collection so it's kind of based around that with a whole bunch of other pretty stuff in it as well. So this pattern paper here is one that uh, for my very first layout that I made my cameo absolutely annihilated this bit of paper and I didn't want it to go to waste so I thought I would have a go at um, using up those bits that were left over like the solid pieces that weren't destroyed so I've cut them out and I thought I might make a bit of a grid uh, style layout with this and I end up going uh, tone on tone and like a little bit of a rainbow order following the um, colors of the paper so I'm just kind of setting them out at the moment just making cutting them down a little bit they're a bit too big I didn't want them to hugely dominate the page um, they end up <laughs> dominating them but um, I love this layout in the end it's um, really pretty kind of rainbow soft pastel rainbow if you will Okay, so I've got a photo there, the photos of Eddie and her little cousin um, on Easter, their little Easter ears, <laughs> bunny ears, and um, Easter eggs, they've been on an Easter egg hunt, and I thought the colours in the photo worked beautifully with this, so um, that's what I've gone for, and I ended up flipping it over, um, just because I felt like the pinks and purples um, sat a little bit nicer um, with the photo that way. For some reason, I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm going ahead and backing all of those pattern papers with some foam. And I'm just popping a little bit of ATG on the centre of that foam and just kind of tacking it in place so that it doesn't move. And then I'm just setting it down to where I want it to go. Go through and do that with all of them. And I do find something out of the pocket cards that came in the Project Life kit there was a bit of this pattern paper that had the peachy colour on it that I wanted to bring in so I'm just going to back the photo with a layer of that and that's going to help me to kind of finish that or we'll complete that rainbow if you will. Again a little bit of foam and going through those pocket page cards um, I found this pattern paper with the flowers on it so I just take a little bit of time and fussy cut out a few of the purple and the pink flowers um, from the card so that I can use them on the layout. Okay, so that's all done. I've just kind of popped them in their um, coloured sections. And now I'm going to go through the die cuts and stuff um, that I've got in this month's kit. I forgot to tack down my photo. So I'm going to start with those layered stickers. I pulled off the peachy coloured one that's got Happy Dance <laughs> on it with a little flower. I thought that was perfect because um, they've got a bunch of Easter eggs here. Um, and then I go through these little mixed embellishments and I pull off a couple of epoxy um, stickers and there was a button that had um, an epoxy sticker on it that I liked but I didn't want to bring in the button. Um, so I just popped that sticker off the wood button. And then I can use that. And then I'm going through my die cuts. There are some are die cuts, some are pieces that have been fussy cut from the cut apart sheet that came in the kit. Um, it's a great way to use a pattern paper that's got a bunch of useful bits on it that you don't think you'll use as a whole, or um, use the the cut apart cards as a whole, if that makes sense. Um, so I went ahead and did that earlier earlier on. Um, when I was making another, another layout. So I'm just going through the die cuts and I'm just kind of piling on pieces onto each of those sections that, I, that are of the same colour that I think I can get onto the layout. So we've got the word fabulous up on the yellow, we've got a, a blue frame um, and some flowers and I do bring up a die cut piece um, in the pink section that's the same shape as that frame down in the blue section but I um, because I, I felt like I wanted to kind of repeat that shape but in the end I ended up taking it off. I'm just kind of trying to break up those edges around those squares everything's a bit harsh I want it to be a little bit softer so that's the idea I'm going for is to kind of layer things up and bring color and the organic shapes from those flowers out off the sides of those square bits of pattern paper if that makes sense so just going through like I said finding bits of the same color that I think will work I liked this tag here. I didn't want to introduce rose gold though, so I just cut the, um, the foil part of it off and I'm just trimming it down and it's going to be a home for my journaling and that's going to fill in the majority of that green card there. And 
finding more pink things, found a lot of pink things, I've got a little black and white circular piece which I tried first with my photo, popped it up to the yellow and then I do end up bringing it back down beside my photo because I find this frame and it has a little bit of yellow on it and I think I can probably make it work but in the end I do end up bringing that one over to the pink section, <laughs> um, yeah. And I've just moved that little black and white circular die cut piece over to the photo um, just for some interest over there. And I'm bringing in some of those little inflatable hearts as well. Introducing a bit more of that black and white that's on the page just to make it feel like it's at home. And just kind of continuing to go along, pulling up purples, yellows. I'm not necessarily going to use all of the pieces. If I've got the options there, I can see if I can work them in. So there we go. I'll just tidy that stuff out of the way. Um, I've got some puffy stickers here as well that I think I can probably make work. So we're going to go and add a blue one and a leaf to the blue section. So that green leaf is kind of heading up towards the green section of the grid, which I like. It's kind of combining the two. And I'm going to start kind of setting things out onto each of these little squares of pattern paper as I go. So we've got a frame that I've kind of cut down and a little puffy sticker. Just trying to make things sit nicely. A little epoxy button or sticker and label and I like that little cluster there. And heading up to the green now we've got a little tab and another little floral piece and I'm just going to push them over the edge. And I wanted to bring in something else. So we've got a green label from one of the cut apart sheets that I end up cutting off and I sliced that in half. No, this is for the yellow section. I did pop a green label in the green section. I just wanted something else for the yellow section. So I'm cutting off a yellow one and I'm going to add that to my grid. But it's a little bit too long. So I'm just going to kind of move that pink frame out of the way. That one gets moved. And my little yellow label, I decided to cut it and then I thought I would just kind of join it a little bit <laughs> uh, further on with my ATG and I'm furiously looking for it because I lost the little bit that I cut off. <laughs> um, never mind, <laughs> we'll just have to, have to cover it up and you'll never know. <laughs> I'm still looking for it. I still haven't found it. <laughs> it's well and truly gone. Okay, so some little yellow flowers that were fabulous, little epoxy button. I'm just cutting off the little knobbly bits off this die cut. The same with that tab, and now I can move on to the pink section. And that kind of funny shaped square die cut piece is gone. I've replaced it with that frame, and I've been a little bit indecisive about those floral pieces. There we go. Um, because the large pink one was the same as the smaller one that I wanted to introduce but um, it looked funny and then I ended up going with the other one anyway so just kind of bringing that pink out onto the page and a little puffy sticker in pink as well I'm quite happy with that so I'm going to start gluing everything down I did bring in my T-square ruler to make sure that I pop those um, good pieces in place straight in a head so that was lucky <laughs> and I'm just going to work my way around each of those squares and adhere everything down just popping the occasional bit up on some adhesive foam and adding glue underneath my foam to make sure that they are adhered down properly because I've only got a little bit of ATG tape taking them in place and then I can kind of work on those under layers underneath those little frames and labels just picking it up a little bit <clears throat> and then I can work on my blue section as well just gluing down the frame a little bit of glue under there and there we go we skipped two we're all done everything has kind of stayed in the same spot so I just want to add a little bit more we've got these gorgeous kind of watercolor um, labels so I'm going to add a few of them we've got a green one a peachy colored one and I do bring in the pink one as well. I'm just trying to decide what will work. So we're just going to pop that up there. And I was trying to find a yellow one that would work as well. So we've got that up there. 
Um, these are some little chipboard cardstock stickers from Pinkfresh. I think it's from their recent office one. Um, but I wanted to bring in a little bit more colour, so we've got a blue label I'm just going to cut a bit, and that's just breaking up that harsh line on that blue section. And the same with that little peachy coloured one as well, that's bringing a little bit more colour by the photo. And a little tab as well I'm going to tuck between my photo and pattern paper layers. And a yellow circle, just to add a bit more of an organic feel under there. A little bit more yellow. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for them. I wanted to bring in a few of these little mini puffy stickers and to add something to that blue square that was looking um, really empty. So I'm going to add the word so up into the yellow so it's so fabulous and then I will bring in a little X and an O onto the purple just to kind of repeat these puffy stickers around the page. And then I'm going to add my title which will be Easter Easter hunt and blue on that um, blue section just to kind of fill that in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't make you watch it all. And I felt like a white background, you know me, I can't do it. I always have to add something. <laughs> um, so I'm just flicking through my 12 by 12 papers that I've got from the kit and seeing what I think can work. And I did initially think of using just a really soft watercolour background just to frame the entire thing. But um, I came across the pattern paper that has the really colourful rainbow banners on. And I thought, well, if there's any layout I'm going to use on it, it'd be this one. So um, I decided just to slice will actually use my little notebook Fiskars punch um, down the right hand side of the white cardstock and that's going to add a lot of texture and just shave a little bit off that side and then I'm going to add a strip of that rainbow um, a print from that other pattern paper um, in its place so I'm just going through and cutting this down I love this punch this will be my favorite punch ever I think and then my little rainbow strip of pattern paper. So I'm just going to sit it on there, line it up. Add some ATG tape. Just adding it thin the strip because I don't want to waste the entire pattern paper. Just lining it up, pushing it down, and then I can just run along the um, underside and cut that excess pattern paper off. <coughs> I'm just fluffing up the edges, adding a bit of texture, and then I can go ahead and cut the excess pattern of paper off and I did contemplate cutting off some banners but I thought no there's enough going on and I do try some pink puffy stickers but I take them off and think no there's enough embellishments but I did want to bring something a little bit onto the white cardstock and so I decided to bring in my watercolours and I've got my Prima watercolour palettes this first one is my pastels and then I think the second one I bring in for a bit of dark blue is the tropicals so any watercolours would work, but I thought that this one would go quite nice. So I'm just bringing in a really nice soft pink. I think this one's rose. And I'm just adding a little bit of colour and then extending it out with some water just to soften it up. Um, I haven't gessoed my paper. Um, I don't particularly like the look of gesso, <laughs> which probably helps explain my aversion to mixed media. Um, <clears throat> that and the fact that I can't really control <laughs> where it goes. Um... But if you are not super liberal with the liquid, you can get away with not using gesso. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> so I'm going into the yellow section, adding a few splatters as I go as well. I'm going to go in there some green. Just mixing it up. And I do add a touch of blue in with it, I think, as well, just to kind of soften it. <clears throat> and I'm just adding that to the right. And then I think I go through my purples and I bring in my tropicals palette. The purple that was in the pastels was just a little bit too too light and had too much of a pink tone. So I wanted to darken it up and I just brought in a little bit of dark blue with that. And then I just add that to the left of this purple section. Just kind of mixing as I go in some more splatters. I really love this Tim Holtz um, glass media mat. It's so great to work with. You can just kind of mix things on your little spot beside you. It's an awesome little tool. I'm so glad I got it. Okay, just going with that 
peachy pink colour as well and adding that beside the photo. And I do off screen um, end up adding some a few enamel dots around the page as well just to, just to extend the colour out onto the white as well. But after that, that's pretty much it for my process. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out the kits or anything that's in the Kitaholic Kits shop, um, there's a link in the description box below. And don't forget to go over and join us in the Kitaholic Kits Facebook group as well. Um, but until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.